All right, as you're looking at this video, you're like, what the heck, this is not what I clicked on. Yes, it is, because I'm gonna be showing you exactly what settings I use, but I'm also gonna explain how I came to the conclusion for the settings that I use. Now, as you can see, this does not look too great. It's looking a little dark. It's looking a little not crisp, not clear, because webcams need light. Without light, they're not gonna look great. They're probably gonna look terrible. The less light you have, the worst quality you're gonna get. All right, future me here, letting you guys and girls know, I realized that I was saying yellow in the video. Whenever I say yellow light, I'm referring to warm tone light. So that's what I'm referring to. So whenever you hear me say yellow light, I'm talking about warm toned lights. And also make sure you stay until the end of the video because at the end, I'm gonna be giving you a few tips and tricks that you can do to get by until you're able to get you the type of light bulb that I use personally or a ring light or a soft box or any other type of lighting that's going to make your videos pop and look a bit more crisp and clear. So you do not need the lights that I have in the background. That is just some Christmas lights and a diffuser with a light on it that can fade in and out, but I just leave it on blue. And that is just a regular old cheap $10 light bulb that changes colors. I have it on fade in and out. You don't need that. What you need is a bright light. That can be a ring light. That can actually be a light that you get from a store that is bright enough to give you the quality that you're looking for. So I usually get 100 watts. I don't really go too far above that. And I don't really like going too far below that because that's going to start to make it look not bright and I want it to be bright and look nice and not have to be struggling to find light. So we're going to take a look at how that looks right now. And there you have it with just turning on the light that is over my webcam. You see that the video looks a lot more clear, looks a lot more crisp. It's quite passable. It's more appealing and not to say that the video before looks bad, but me personally, if I'm doing a sit down talking video with you or anyone, I'd rather it look like this. This is how it would look if I'm making a video call. This is how it would look if I'm just doing a video. Now, say you're trying to do makeup. Makeup videos will require lots of light, nice light, so you can exactly show what you're doing and it can look right. So you could, you know, do uh, any type of video like this. It doesn't have to be a talking video. It doesn't have to be a tutorial video. It can be any video you want. As long as you have light and your webcam will look perfectly fine. Now I'm going to be showing you my settings, but keep in mind, my settings may or may not work for you based on the exact type of light you get, because you can have a ring light or you can have a regular light bulb that I'm using. It's just a regular led around 100 Watts and it's white light. Do not get anything that's yellow because it's not going to be flattering on your skin. No matter what skin color you have, it's just not going to look right. I promise you it's going to be much more of a headache than it's worth. So just stick with the white lights. Do not use yellow. I don't even want a yellow light above me and I don't have a light above me on. So right now, this is strictly from the light above my webcam. This is not from any other light source. And as you can see, as I put my hand up to it, it will adjust because I leave it on auto exposure. I don't want it to be stuck at one thing because it may need to change. So here are my settings. Let's get straight into it. And as you can see, once we have this up and open, you also can tell that the video isn't um, flat as it was before, because before it didn't have this application open. For some reason, this application has to be opened to reapply the settings that you have sometimes it gets it right but usually when you restart your computer just remember to start this up before you start recording and it should automatically put the settings back onto your webcam if it doesn't when you open it you can simply unselect auto and then reselect auto and it would do it exactly like you had it when the settings are confirmed and all that and then once you do that you can go ahead and close out the g-hub application I don't usually ever leave it open. If you want to, you can, but I close it. I've never had to go back to default after I've done those steps that I just told you. So it usually just works out like it's supposed to. So as you can see, I leave mine on 100% zoom. If you go to 500, it's just gonna crop it in a little bit. I don't need that. So I just leave mine on 100%, but you can choose whichever one you'd like. And as far as focus, I want mine to auto focus just in case I get a little bit closer, a little bit further away from the camera is going to keep me in focus or adjust the focus accordingly instead of just being blurry or whatever if I get out of focus by moving away from the camera. I tend to not move away from the camera, but 
it's really no problem for me to leave it on auto. I don't really see it hunting for stuff in the background because when you have a lot of light, that minimizes how much hunting for the focal point the camera will have to do. So the light helps it in a lot of ways. So as far as the exposure, I leave mine on auto. When you turn it off and you get to moving this around, you see that's ridiculous. You can't like, why would you want to record like this? If you do, that's cool. If that's the effect that you're going for. But if you're not, you know, turning it down too far, will start to be like this. Now, some cameras like say you have a DSLR or an actual camera exposure going down would make it look better depending on the sensor size. But if you go too low on a webcam, the sensor is not big at all. So going low on your exposure is going to cause you to need a ton of light. Now, usually lowering your exposure, it can cause your image to get more clearer, but you need more light. So forget that. I put mine on auto, let it change based on what the light is doing. Because sometimes when I set this light up, I might not have it in the exact position. It might be a little bit closer, might be a little bit further away from me. So that's where I like to keep it. So usually it'll just be exactly like this. I've never had it switch up and be weird or be different. Auto has worked for me. That's what I use. Now, if you go down here, you see priority. I leave mine on exposure. You can put it on frame rate if you'd like, but I'm more concerned with exposure personally. So that's what I leave mine on. Now, if you go up back to the top, you go up to video, click video. You can copy these settings completely if you like that's your choice and if it works out and looks nice for you cool great if it doesn't these settings are something that can be tweaked something that you should tweak because you might not have the exact type of light that i have i don't remember the exact brand but that doesn't matter you just want to make sure it's a white light i have an led light it's not some super expensive and it came with a pack so you can put some white lights in the other parts of your home or wherever you're at or use multiple lights to get a little bit brighter of a scene if that's what you're looking for. So I get around 100 watts, like I've said. So that's what I have. Now you see right here, my brightness is on 45. If you get to changing this from 45 to 35, it's not gonna change too much, but I like mine on 45 personally. So I keep mine on 45. Now, if you go to contrast, you can change that if you'd like, but I've noticed that if you change that, it starts to look a little too crazy. I don't got time for that. So. 50% right now. So we go from 50%, we start changing it. What is this? Like, really? Like, that don't look cool. This don't look cool to me, at least. Like, if it looks cool to you, that's cool. But I put mine on 50%, not too much, not too little. It's perfect for me. And then as far as sharpness, I put mine on 54%. It really doesn't make much of a difference from 50, but I don't know. I, I, in my brain, I'm like, ooh, just a little bit more sharpness. 54% is what I put mine on. White balance, I leave mine in the middle. I do not let it be on auto. If I put it on auto, it starts to do some weird stuff. Look at my skin tone. What is going on? It just automatically changes. It makes it look weird for some reason. I don't mess with auto white balance. I don't care if it's a camera, a phone, this. I don't too much like messing with certain things. And this is one of them. White balance sometimes auto can be cool if it's cool awesome if it's not don't use it so saturation you see i have it on 76 percent now this is going to increase the the pop of the colors i guess you could say so 76 percent remember is what i had it on so 76 percent what is this now this kind of looks crispy you know what i'm saying like i like this looks pretty cool but you go too high what is going on I look like a cartoon character. This is not cool. So dial it back down to around 76. And this is what I feel is decent. This is what I feel okay with showing and posting. Now, like I said, all of these settings can be changed based on what you like, because at the end of the day, it's about what you think. And it's about what you like and what you're looking at. It's cool to, oh, I want to have a better quality for my viewers. But at the end of the day, if you're not comfortable with it, you're not going to want to post it. So make sure the settings look nice for you first. Then you can start to do something else. But that's what you need to focus on first.
Now, anti flicker is just going to depend on where you are in the world. Some places you need to put it on 50, some places you need to put it on 60. You can just Google it for what anti flicker you should use for cameras in your specific place. But I'm on 60. That works for me. Now, that's it. All right, now that that's all said and done, we're going to be getting into the tips that I was talking about at the start of the video right now. All right, so the first tip you can try is just to use your cell phone's flash, um, turn it on flashlight, and then just use that. Now, it's not going to be the best, not going to be the most crisp, it's not going to be as bright as the light that I showed you earlier, but it's a lot more light than this. And if you want to game play, if you want to do a little live stream, this can get you by. This will be a lot more than just this, as you can see. And the next thing you can do, if you have your laptop sitting in front of you, um, turn your brightness on full blast. Go to your web browser and type in white backgrounds and then pull up a white background. And when you pull up a white background, it'll do this. It'll make it look a little bit more filled in with a little bit of light. Like I said, this is just to get you by until you can get you a light. Now, the last one that I have is, say you have a monitor right beside you uh maybe it's hooked up to your xbox or ps4 game system or anything maybe it's a smart tv maybe it has a usb drive whatever the case may be you can either go through the usb drive route put a white background on it and view that image on your tv or your monitor or whatever like that or if you want to on your xbox you can go into the browser and go to a screen that's mostly white or just type in a white background and there you have it yes the light is coming from the side because i'm not facing straight there with the webcam in front of me but this is also a pretty good amount of light coming in and if you want to you can even do the background on your screen beside you a certain white color or you can do the screen in front of you a certain white color and then you have even more light and then if you want to you can complement that with the flash of your phone. Those are just a few ways that you can get by on getting a little bit more light until you're able to buy a light, go to the store and grab a light bulb, or getting you the ring light or soft box or any other type of lighting. If this video helped you out, please slam the like button, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Until next time, it's your boy, and I'm out. Peace.